All right, everybody, our first broadcast comes out this Friday. We don't have any ideas for an opening. What are we going to do? Come on, you new broadcasting people. That's why we have you in here. We need some ideas. Anyone, I'm, I'm, anybody, any idea? We can do another parody of The Office. What? Yeah. Yeah. You. Oh, you come back when you have a good idea. All right, now that we have Ryan out of the way, no more office. Anybody else have any other ideas? Come on, you gotta have some. What if we did teacher interviews, but with hot wings like that show Hot Ones? Welcome back to Hot Ones, the show with even hotter wings. I'm George Walden, and I'm here with Mr. Nance, and we're about to start our hottest sauce, the bomb. You ready? I'm ready, George. Let's do this. Okay, eat. Here we go. In the water, milk. Ah, 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 Three words, teacher, boxing, match. Done with your Mr. Langenfeld. Yeah? Well, your is ugly. Fire, 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 fire. You guys, the ideas we have so far are not going to fly with the administration. Do we have any other ideas? Come on, guys, come on, you can do it. Any other ideas? Ooh, I have a really good one. What if we do fill your guts or spill your guts? but with the laxatives in all the food. Yes. All right, so Mr. Weegis has answered every question, but Mr. Barber has eaten all the food items. Are you ready for your next question, Mr. Barber? <laughs> this is our first broadcast, people. First broadcast, and we're already out of ideas for an open. You do realize you're ready to use like the first couple of minutes of the broadcast? What's up, Mr. Carroll? I'm George Walden, and welcome back to our very first broadcast of the year. And I'm Daniel Kelly. We hope you all had a great summer. It really was nice having those two extra weeks. Oh, yeah. I got, I got a lot of sleep during those weeks. I'm pretty excited for this year, too. We got a lot of new faces around the broadcast room. You'll see many of them throughout today's episode. Speaking of new, we're excited to welcome 17 new staff members to our Eagle family. We're looking forward to getting to know them better, but it may be hard if you don't have a class with them. Let's learn more about them with Kennedy. Hi, I'm Kennedy Lara, and I'm here with Miss Meyer, and we're here to figure out a fun fact about yourself. Hi, um, so when I was in high school, I trained for a boxing match, and then I actually fought in one. Hi, my name is Father Andrew Burkamp, and I'm excited to be assistant chaplain here at Bishop Carroll. One interesting fact about my life is that I have gone skydiving. Hi, I'm Miss Keeker, and I will be getting married in November, so expect a name change to be coming at that point. Hi, my name is Miss Jenkins, and my interesting fact is that I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. My name's Andrea Rao. Um, my interesting fact is I taught here for five years, and then I spent three years at home with my kids, and now I'm back teaching here at Bishop Carroll. Hi, my name is Miss Fringenberg, and I have been in the movie Lift Me Up. Hi, I'm Mr. Welch. I teach biology, and my fun fact is that I'm a recreational tree climber. Hi, my name is Mr. Mann. A fun fact about me is in 1982, I won the Halstead High School Air Guitar Contest. And ever since then, I sneak my air guitar into the concerts and play air guitar full out. I'm Miss Dieters, and my fun fact is that I love math. Hi, I'm Mr. Riley. Um, I used to work at a skating rink for about eight years. My name is Mr. Luders, and a fun fact about me is I was born in Alaska. Hi, I'm Linda Mallory, and fun fact about me, I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. Hi, I'm Julie Fisher, and a fun fact about me is I got engaged right here. Andrea Krager, um, and I taught English in Haiti five years ago for a summer. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Diskin, and my fun fact is I love Chick-fil-A. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ayers, and I am pregnant with my sixth kiddo. Hi, I'm Mr. Nygren, and a fun fact about me is that even though I'm the assistant swim coach at Bishop Carroll Catholic High School, I didn't learn to swim until I was 16 years old. Thanks, Kennedy. We're so glad you're all here, and we hope you have a great school year. We'd also like to give a big shout out to our very own Mr. Barber for winning the Golden Apple. Congratulations, Mr. Barber. Well deserved. And now to one of our new team members, Rachel Nysis with sports. Football is currently 2-1 and one and will be playing derby tonight. Varsity Girls Cross Country took second at Lake Afton and boys took fifth at Southeast. Volleyball is undefeated with a record of 13-0. Good job, ladies. Boys soccer is 2-3 and three in City League and with an overall record of 4-5. and five. Girls golf is second in City League with two tournaments coming up. Girls tennis lost against Cape in Wednesday night but they have an overall record of 6-1 in City League with a big tournament coming up this Saturday. Good luck to everyone competing. We hope you have a great season. Thanks, Rachel. We're looking forward to a great season. Good luck to all of our fall athletes. Now it's time for a return of one of our fan favorites. Ryan and Austin, take it away with lunchroom interviews. If you could disinvent anything, what would it be? Probably the computer. It's an amazing question. An elevator. What are you most likely going to be famous for? Housewives of Beverly Hill. What are you and your alien going to do after the raid? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, probably go on a nice date, go get some spaghetti, like pasta dinner. Um, I think go on a like nice walk through the park in the Stargaze probably that night. And church, right? Of course, I'm going to go to church. Like, you know me. Dost thou eat? Yes. <clears throat> do you recycle? All the time. Why? Because it's good for the environment. Save the turtles? Always about the turtles. Yeah. Why do you procrastinate? Um, I'd rather watch The Bachelorette. Good answer. Mm. Do you recycle? I do, yeah. Why? Um, you know, I was just raised up doing it, and I feel like it's the <laughs> right thing to do. Yeah, save the turtles. Save the turtles. <laughs> Does thou yeet? C, sir. Bueno. What do people do too much of today? Complain. If you could only say one word for the entire day, what would it be? <sighs> Fun dip. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Do I have to say that? Indeed. Um, when I was little, I got jealous of my little sister and I shoved her down the stairs. What are you and your pet alien going to do after the raid? Um, go home and take a nap, probably. If you could speak only one word for a day, what word would it be? Two hours later. Yep. Thanks, guys. You know we always love lunchroom interviews. As you may know, we have two main spirit squads here at Bishop Carroll. Sp spirit squads? Who, who are the spirit squads? The spirit squads are Pom and Cheer. Oh, I've never heard of that. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. These girls spend countless hours rehearsing and practicing each routine in cheer. Each team has a very different way of training for what they do. Let's see how well they can coach other students who have never danced or cheered competitively before. It's time for our very first Palm versus Cheer with Claire and Diana. Aha uh ha! -huh. I'm Diana and Aloha. So today I'm going to be learning a Palm routine by Kylie Wimberly and Elizabeth Irwin. So let's get to work. I'm Claire Weber and I'm here with Blair, Allie, and Kelsey, and they're going to be teaching me a cheer routine. Hey, I 
got this new damn for y'all called the soldier boy. You gotta punch that crack back three times from left to right. Thanks, Claire and Diana, for giving us a glimpse of all the hard work they put into their routines. Wow. You know, I bet with a little bit more hard work, they could actually make the team. You know, it's, it's actually worth a shot. Speaking of hard work, our homecoming this year is October 7th through 12th. Dress down days have not been decided, but our theme is Conquer the Crusaders. There will be free donuts on Tuesday. The Powerpuff game will be on Wednesday, and the Golden Eagle Jamboree is Thursday. Friday, we have an hour pep assembly with Ultimate Pride Day. Homecoming King and Queen will be announced during halftime at Friday's game. Our dance is Saturday from 8.30 to 11.30. It will be a whimsical night. And now we're going over to Miss Johnson with the winners of the trash bag sale. You can find the full list of winners on the BC Flyer website. Good morning, Bishop Carroll student body. Um, this is Miss Johnson with BC TV, and I just want to share with you an update on trash bag sales. We have the winner is St. Sebastian Community. Congratulations, St. Sebastian Strong. And then as a result, um, we also have the house that's going to receive a free breakfast is Mr. Hughes Leak's house. So congratulations to all of you in St. Sebastian. And then as a result, we now have an Eagle Cup update. And this is going to include, um, we have cross country and then we have tennis from Wednesday night along with the trash bag totals, but not trash bag participation. So those totals now, the new rankings for Eagle Cup, we have St. Sebastian in first place with 30 points, Andre Bessette in second with 28, Therese of Lisieux with 26, Teresa of Calcutta, 24, Dominic Savio, 22, and then Max Colby, Philip Neary, and John Paul II are tied in last with 16 points. That's all the time we have for this broadcast. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.